Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own choir folder. You just need to start with any black folder. This is just a simple um, plastic folder. You will need a length of black elastic. This is very fine elastic but you can also use slightly thicker elastic. There's three meters of it here and I've tied it into a loop just by putting a knot um, between the two ends. Okay, then you need to um, thread the elastic around the folder like this, just winding it round and round until you run out of elastic. I'm trying to make sure that the last one is fairly tight but not too tight. So this will give you a folder that has looks like that from the outside you can't see the elastic because the elastic is black and the folder is black cunningly and inside there are these elastic strings through which you can thread your music and it's that's as simple as it is really you can if you wish do the same thing with a ring binder um, and use um, elastic threaded around the side of that it's a bit more difficult to manage what I'm asking you please not to do ever is punch holes in the music. Um, if anybody does that, I think I might just have to kill you. Um, but the good thing about this sort of folder is that you can slot single sheets in. If you've got this sort of folder, like, like the one we've just made, you can still use single sheets, but the, the easiest way to deal with them is to just to sellotape them onto another sheet so you've got a double sheet and then you can slot it through. Um, it's also possible to buy choir folders on Amazon. This is a purpose-built, purpose-made choir folder. Again, this is, it has strings. These are actual string strings. And I know several people get that. They're about uh, six pounds on Amazon and you just type in um, black choir folder. It's a good idea, whatever your folder is, to put your name in it. Um, and perhaps phone number so that should you leave it behind in the concert we will be able to return it to you. For this concert the other thing you'll probably need is something to mark the pages of your um, music so that you can move backwards and forwards th um, through it. Um, there's various sorts of stitch post-it notes are available. It's just a little selection here. Can get them from staples or any stationer really. No, those aren't very good, they fall off, but there's one, so any of those really. Or just make your own from post-it notes. Please don't stick anything or staple anything onto the music, however, because that will damage it. And um, again, I may have to kill you if you do that. Okay, thanks very much then. Bye.